What's up guys, it's CMS here with a video on Ecospheres and uh, um, I'm going to educate you guys what an Ecosphere is and then build one myself with this stuff right here. So pretty much what an Ecosphere is, is a self-sustaining environment um, that can be contained in a jar like this and I'm going to explain and draw how this will work. So we gotta start out with a um a organism, a living organism that can well is usually mainly a algae eater. Perhaps well per se a snail. Got ourselves a little nice snail here. Don't care how good or bad my drawing is, it's just to show you guys. And then here's some snail and some algae over here. Now, um, algae is going to produce O2 and take in C. O2. And it take in that. And then the snail is going to eat the algae, right? And um, the snail produces CO2 and takes in O2. And this is in a way where nothing will run out of the snail will never run out of food the algae will keep on producing o2 and taking in o co2 and the snail will never stop producing and taking in taking it uh, will never stop taking in o2 never stop producing co2 so in theory this should be a self-sustaining uh ecosystem which is called a ecosphere. And what I'm gonna be using is some spring water right here that I got from a local creek by my house and this glass jar, which my mom had in the cupboard just that she had. And I got a little bit of tap water that's been sitting out for a few days now. Now, if you're using tap water, um, make sure to either use droplets to take out the, um, what is it called, uh, chlorine in the tap water, or let it sit for at least 48 hours, so there is no chlorine in the water. If there is chlorine in the water, uh, it'll kill whatever you're using. Alright, and, uh, I got a little bit of algae up here growing in my spring water. And you're going to need to find a nice bright um, window to uh, put this in. And my organism that I'm putting in there is a red tail fairy shrimp eggs. Well, this is what I have, but red tail fairy shrimp. And um, I'm going to put about 50 to 100 in this. They last about 10 weeks and produce, reproduce in two to four weeks now i want to put some of this in before i start putting in the spring water because i don't want algae growing before they um hatch all right so um i am going to start doing that now i'm gonna put some eggs in here I'm I'm not going to put too much because if I put too much there's not going to be a bunch that will hatch and that won't be good. And then we're going to let this sit for 24 hours for them all to hatch and um then we'll add our spring water. 
So let's just put a little bit in here like this and make sure not to concentrate them in one spot only. Try to spread them out a little bit. All right, that's enough for what I'm doing. And the bigger the jar, the more you can have. The smaller the jar, the less you can have. I'm pretty sure this is about half a gallon to a gallon jar. So I'm not putting too much in there. And uh, for the jar, what I have is something that's airtight. It has a lid like this with a seal around it. it has this clamp, right? And I'm not gonna seal it up yet because there's no oxygen producing for when these hatch and there's just gonna be big CO2 buildup and there won't be any oxygen for these guys to have until I put this algae in, which will be after um, they hatch. So I'll see you back when they all hatch, which will be just a split second for you guys, but about a day for me. Hey guys, I'm back and it's seven o'clock in the morning and uh, I've seen no life in this jar whatsoever. And um, I don't know what the cause of that is, but there's another 12 hours, which they should be hatching. But since I've seen no life yet, I want to put in my spring water. I just added my spring water and um, I hope I didn't ruin anything so uh, I'll check in with you guys later hey what's up guys we're back it's been about 24 hours since I put the eggs in and I don't know if you can see that on the camera but there are shrimp in there moving around little white specks um, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera but, um, yeah, we got stuff. So, I'm going to put the algae that's in here, in there. And I'm going to close up the lid and, um, label it, the date and stuff. And I'll talk to you guys when I'm done with that. As you guys can see, I have the algae put in there. And the date on the top. And it clamped. So, I'm just going to wrap it up for my video. Um, see you guys. It ain't my fault.